everybody. As I said in the last video, I was uh, going to put an isolator on the taps under the sink because when I got the shower up, I wet up, then I turn the taps off, sit down, lather up. All right, then I have to turn the taps back on and you can never get it at the same temperature to be able to rinse off. So I'm going to put a switch in, which the taps can stay on and I'll just isolate the power and turn the power off for the pump. I was going to put the switch up here, all right, but there's not enough distance between that and that to be able to get the switch in. So the switch is going to go down here. Um, it is it is a waterproof switch, so it's not going to matter. But just remember, most of the time I, I sit down. I've taken the inspection cap off. Do I have a look underneath? It's not hinged, it's screwed in. So uh, I know they're quick release screws. All right, and uh, it all comes up. There is room in there. I had uh, um, a quiz to as to where I put the toilet roll. There is room to put a toilet roll in there and store stuff in there, but it's such a hassle to have uh, a screwdriver left on the side to be able to undo the hatch. Um, I suppose I could screw, um, glue um, hinges on, but uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. I like the idea, but I don't, because I don't think it's very dry in there, because at the end of the day, when it, when it, when it the water, if the water ran down there, it runs straight into the cupboard anyway. Um, especially if you're on a slope, it would drip inwards. Opposite slope, it would drip outwards and run down the door. Don't like the idea, unless I put a sealer around the edge. Um, but anyway, the new toilet roll holder, it's called a sink. I've already un unscrewed the drainage. I've already unscrewed that as so I can take the sink straight out. And is all I've got to do is uh, there's two blue wires there. Cut the one, put a switch in line. That's all I've got to do with this. And uh, only trouble is the switches I've got are a little bit small, and I've got to solder them, so I can't just put uh, terminals on. So we'll let you know. I'll uh, I'll see if I can set you up in here so you can try and see what uh, what I'm doing. But as you know, it's only a, a very small room and uh, usually you're in the toilet on your own. Well, I've got you set up in the corner, but I, I still don't think you're gonna be able to see anything. There's absolutely nowhere else I can put the camera. Nowhere. So, if it's uh, editable, ed editable, I will edit it and uh, show you, but if not, it'll just get removed. So, right. Now we find the wire and the switches. It won't be a moment. Okay, I've moved you under the sink now. And uh, my little switch will go in that little orifice. And I've got the battery light flashing away on the camera now. So you'll have to give me another five minutes whilst I change that. Stand by. I thought for a moment then I'd uh, I bought some cheap um, uh, batteries off eBay, charged them all up, and I thought then that uh, they were as flat as a nerd after charging them up. But they weren't. It was just me up with the bloody battery and back to front. So, right now this. Because this is such thin plastic, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to score my way through there without drilling. Um, I'll put it this way, in this weather, it breaks easy. I know that, because uh, this cupboard used to go right up to the roof. Well, I couldn't have it, because it came out of the caravan. Couldn't have it right up to the roof, because the roof, the, the side of the van slopes. So... Uh, it would have uh, been an awkward shape and I just wasn't prepared to do all that scribing and cutting and none of that, it had uh, 
mirror doors on it and uh, it just wouldn't have looked right I don't think I think it could do with warming up this stuff you know no it's gonna have to be drilled I think drilled and then trimmed with a knife yeah because uh, it's just skidding on it right I gotta find a drill bit now <laughs> I keep putting everything away. Don't too tidy. Right. Let's put a hole in it. Yeah, let's just check behind. Yeah, that's all right. I'm not going to hit the pipes. But I would if I go too far through. Uh, do you know what? That is quite thick. Look at that. It's got to be, what, an eighth thick? Three or four mil. Of course, that's the disadvantage of buying square switches as well. Buy a round one. I've got the uh, right core cutters for that. But, uh, square, cut square holes is uh, a lot of awkward there you go. Look at that lot. Right, that can go on the floor underneath you. Right. Now it should just be a matter of just trimming it. Because it'll peel now. hear it on the roof of the van but it is absolutely chucking down a rain today what is it? it's uh, pan day cake pancake day oh, we've already had orders i gotta go in early because unless the instructions are on the packet the daughter ain't got a clue so uh, i gotta go in and make the pancakes i hope she's gonna shout me on the radio in a minute and tell me a cup of tea's ready Let's just try the switch at the bottom. No, you got to go wider in the bottom. There you go. That should be roughly it in the bottom. Yep. Now up the sides. And of course, I've already cut through part of that. I don't know whether you can see what I'm doing. I can't move you over any, but I think you can get the gist in between. Good heavens, that is quite thick in there. Well, of course, it's extruded plastic, moulded, and I know, I know, around these edges, arc it, that's thin, and around the top, it's thin, and on on that back splash back up there. That's where it cracked last time when I was trying to uh, put it in. Right, it's the right width. Just wants to shade off the uh, bottom now. One. Trim a bit, try it, trim a bit, try it. Now, the switch goes in there. I don't know what that was, I don't do that. Did I? I don't recall doing that. Um, now it's just uh, giving it enough room now for the uh, little tabs that are on the side. So, I don't like taking them too far. I hate it when they wobble in there. Go over a bump in the road and they fall out. I need to get in there. Get in there. I expect if I wanted to, I could uh, pop him in there. But 
I'm going to go that bit, bit extra. And it is, a, the, way, the way it's trimming, I don't know whether you can see it, but the way it's trimming, it, it is coming off in nice, nice small slithers. See, it is just nice small slithers. That's better. That'll go in there now. That will go in. Right. That's that little small job done. I don't remember doing that. When I play that video back, I'm going to check that. that that's just dirt. Um, I'm going to check to see if I did that, but I don't think I did. I think it was already there and I'm just getting it dirty because I've still got glue on my fingers from uh, doing that carpet. So, yucky. Right, I'll get the get you back up on the side and uh, get the cables in here because I've got all that ready. Nearly. Put you up on there. Of course I altered your legs to go up there, didn't I? down on the floor. Let's have a look. That one can shrink. That one can shrink a tad. One, two, three. Right. Get the wire. I'll take the drill out first. My ball patch again. Right, here's all I'm going to do. Is I'm going to cut that one cable. That one lead will be long enough to come back up to the switch. And then uh, I'm going to put a terminal on it as so I can plug onto the switch. But then I've got a piece of wire already with a, a plug on it and uh, the other end of the blue cable down there I'm going to put a uh, bullet and male and female bullet that's just as though if uh, I need to at any future date I can take retake it back out let me find my hole oh, put it up there enough cable to come back over to there. So we'll cut it down there. Just do it as I can reach. Right. I've cut that. Strip. Strip the wire. Give it a few twists. Get it nice and tidy. Spade on, move it up the crimper, find the right one. Turn it over, put it on the next one along, and do it again. I don't know whether you can see. Got that one crimped on there. Here I can put the switch on this side. He's on. Right. Now then, that one. I'm going to unplug him again, so I don't keep losing him. He's going to come out. I can find the hole again. Show him out through that little tiny orifice. If I can find it. I don't, I, I'm old, I can't manipulate my fingers anymore. There. There, it's right through the hole. Right through the hole. Alright, alright. I need to shove that one in the hole. Get it to the same length as that one. Come down to the blue wire that's down the bottom. 
cube off. Give it a nip. Alright. And put the female on there. Turn that one upside down. Get the right one. Get right one There you go. Alright. The blue one down the bottom. Going through there. Give that a Strip. Come on. Sorry, I broke I broke these uh, strippers a while back. And it takes two hands now to operate them. Give that a bend so it fits the bullet better. Shove it on. Crimpers down. Give it a crimp. There. Right, give it a tug. That's all the off cut. Right, now I've only got to plug that in. I will bring you in here and show you after. Right, now I'm going to plug it onto the switch, turn it on, and I'm hoping that you're going to hear the pump. Now turn it off. Can you hear the pump? Turn it off. So now when both taps are turned on, uh, I can set them to the right, the right temperature. All right. When I, uh, when I lather up, before I lather up, just wet up, and then because they're both on in the right place, when I turn it back on, I've got water, and it's coming out at the same pressure. So. There, that's that done. So I can turn those off. Still haven't put the pump, the isolator pump isolator on yet. So uh, just going to give that one a slight more of a crimp to make him grip the switch better. There and there. That's better. Nice and solid. And I'll do the other one at the same time. If I can get to it. Got it. Push it in there. Oh. That wire's gone on the wrong side. That's it. Push it in. In there all nice and locked. The cables back up the back. That won't interfere with the shower head because the, the shower head uh, is out of there. So, got the waste. Alright, just do it again. Turn, turn both taps on. Turn the pump on. Working a dream. There you go. Turn them off. And in fact, I'll leave that turned off all the time. There we go. Now, all I've got to do is put the sink back in and uh, put the door back on. When I say sink, Put a lot older. Uh, okay, what have you done with my uh, my flat screwdriver? There it is. Bring it up. I don't know whether you can see. No, you can't see it. Uh, I'll go in from under. On there, they don't need a jewelry clip on them, but I, uh, I usually put a jewelry on there just to be safe because I hate to have a sink for water on the floor. Well, especially here because if it does run down behind, it's going to 
because uh, the van's on a slope, it's going to run all the way to the front of the van down the laminate flooring. There you go. Um, they do not glue them in. I might eventually put a bit of silicone around there. As, uh, there is a lip underneath in the bottom cupboard. Right. There you go. That's that little job done. Right, next. <laughs>